the word trick and Rick used to go. Well, um, Rick, I just want to tell you real quick, this is about 60 liters of the Tea Party. We represent the entire state of Texas. Okay. Yeah! <laughs>
China's laying claim to that oil. And uh, so that's another 2 million barrels a day. So you just look at what, what we're talking about here. Uh, we're talking about America, and, and, and of course we have the president's not building the last, I mean the, uh, the uh, Keystone Pipeline. So we're not getting that oil from Canada. That oil from Canada is not going to go west. And, and probably with China, because they, they're trying to gobble up every piece of oil they can. So we're talking about huge increase in dependency on where? OPEC, uh, which is the last place you want to be dependent on oil. And uh, what's that mean? Oil prices going up. The other thing we have to do, and you know, uh, obviously this is a big thing for Boone, is to look at the fact that the cheapest source of energy in this country right now is natural gas. Uh, I know this in Pennsylvania. I mean, one of the reasons it's cheap is because of the huge explosion of, of, of gas, natural gas, in, uh, in, in Marcellus Shale, Pennsylvania. But we're looking at $2.50 gas. Uh, you know, you're saving the equivalent over a buck fifty a gallon right now compared to oil if we were running uh, our, 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 our fleet vehicles on natural gas. So there's, a, there's an opportunity here with you know, a good 30, 40, 50, maybe even more year supply of natural gas for, uh, for an opportunity for America to, uh, to, to start using more natural gas, uh, in particularly liquid fuels for heavy vehicles like 18 wheelers. So there's, there's, there is opportunity here. You're starting to see it. Uh, uh, he showed me a map of, um, on the interstates uh, where there are going to be LNG facilities there for, for trucks. And so, so it's moving in that direction, and to the extent that uh, that we can incentivize that in some way, I, I don't, you know, he's talking about tax incentives, and I sort of bristle at tax incentives for stuff like this. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, there may be some ways in which government can uh, can make this transition a little faster, because we need we need to have faster. This this is the national security issue, and so I, you know, I. I'm sort of looking at this through the framework, well, is this a tax incentive or is this an expenditure for national security? Uh, and so uh, my, 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 my position is let the market work. It is working. I just want to make sure it's fast enough, working fast enough, so when, and when, when Alaska goes down, Mexico goes down, and Venezuela goes down, that we have some source of energy so we can move vehicles here. And we're not looking. You know, we have the cheap. We pay $2.50 for financial gas in this country. They pay... Fifteen dollars in Europe, they pay seventeen dollars in the Middle East, and they're paying about seventeen, eighteen dollars in China. We have the cheapest natural gas of any country in the world, and we aren't using it. And it's plentiful, it's so plentiful that they're burning off in, in some oil wells. They're burning off gas because there's not enough pipeline. So we got to, we got to, we, we got this resource. We better start figuring out a way to start taking advantage of the energy-rich environment. That's jobs, folks. Yeah. So, here, I gave you a long answer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 is the Second Amendment only for hunting and sports? Please share your thoughts. Second Amendment is there to protect the First Amendment. Yeah. 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 Elected and re-elected 
so we can start replacing some of those gray beards on the left yeah. so we can get six three decisions or seven two decisions to, uh, to solidify this for a long time. Yeah. Yeah.